Hello everybody, I'm Soil and Greg. And I'm Rado Goji. And welcome back to Resident Evil. Oh. I have to admit, I did not expect to be here this week, but we are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a, a bit of a confession, or not a confession, but um, I absolutely, last week when we played this game, I did something that I, I try not to do in video games, but I got tilted. Um, I thought we were going to be done with the game, <laughs> I was upset, so I was just sort of throwing myself at the tyrant over and over again. Yeah. Um, so I'm calm now. <laughs> so, be all right. what I'm going to do is hopefully remember where we are, and I'm going to go back to the main hall, if I can remember where the hell that is, where any of this stuff is, go upstairs and because that's this is the way yeah that's the way to um tyrant yeah i think so i am going to find some health uh because we're very low on health right now and we have no health items in the box right. so and that's, that's one of the the main reasons problems we were having was that we died in one hit yeah resident evil is Unique as are most of the uh, the original survival horror games in that it is possible to fuck yourself To the point of not being able to complete the game. It's entirely mm -hmm. possible to run out of health items to run out of ammo uh, In the latter half of the game and be almost completely unable to complete it uh, Which blows. Oh fuck. Crimson head He's booking it man. Damn. Is this the right way? Uh, yes. that was a staircase, if that's what you wanted. No, you prick! <sighs> it's okay, he'll wait I, for you. Rem yeah. <laughs> Remain calm. Everything is okay. I should have shot him with the fucking magnum. I have... All the in fact, I'm gonna equip the shotgun. Danger, fuck danger! It. Yes, here we go. Oh, I forgot about those. I didn't. Never forget. Shit. Okay. Let's, uh... If, we're, if push comes to shove, we can always just, like, load back, load the save back up. Take one and use it. Actually, I'm really low on health, so... Yeah, you are. Uh... Wanna reload the save? Yeah, let me do that. Full start, guys. We'll be all right. It's okay. I'm going to put a couple things in the item box so I can pick those up and combine them. Do, do, do not attempt to uh, adjust your television. We control the horizontal and the vertical. What we don't control, apparently, is being able to beat the fucking game. But yeah, it's possible to get yourself into a no-win situation. It's not like, say, Resident Evil 4, where if you... There's sort of a hidden algorithm in there where if right. you start burning through your ammo, the game will start throwing ammo at you. There are a bunch of other places still that have... I mean, like, still, like, way back in the mansion and shit that still have herbs laying around. Like, Oh, yeah. Like, the Moose Room has some. Yeah, there's absolutely tons if we wanted to go there. Um, I don't think that will be necessary, but... We say that now. We shall see. But... I'm going to put the ink ribbons in there for now, too. Just because I'm going to run back to this room when it's necessary. Uh, obviously, I'm going to visit this room again before we visit, we fight Tyrant and save, because I will probably still fucking die. Yep. And I'm going to equip my friend the Magnum and hope for a headshot here when we uh, we meet our friend the Crimson Head. Dr. Crimson Head, actually. You know, he didn't fucking go to, to med school for years to be referred to as Mr. Crimson Head. Come on. What? Oh, okay, he did drop. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, let's equip the shotgun in case we run into anything normal. Let's go down here real quick. Because we know there's shit up there. I want to look. I feel like there was one... There may have been one first aid kit down here that we missed. This is we the... We still got that electronic lock, too. Yes, this is the, um... That's where we'll be going for the ending ending. Oh, okay. There's some... I start keep shells. forgetting there's a little bit more after Tyrant. Mares he dotes and does he dotes. And little lambs he divey. Kidly divey too, wouldn't you? Are you excited to be playing Earthbound? 
Uh, yeah, Hell I am. Yeah. I, uh, I very much am. It is one of my very favorite games. Awesome. And, uh, that is okay. That's a that's a grayed out room, so there's nothing in there. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, nothing. I was just gonna just gush about Earthbound, but we'll have plenty of time to do that once we get to start playing that. <laughs> once we play Earthbound, which hopefully we will do very soon. Which hopefully we'll be doing tonight. Um, I mean, I still I'm still behind on all the all my video putting up. Like I still have like three videos from the last session to put up for this. Oh, well. And. It's it's very time consuming to um, to edit the uh, the drunk Mega Man videos because um, oh yeah I started watching one of those the uh, the Mega Man anniversary the first one yeah and um, because I just like basically do what we what we've been doing and we like you know we start recording and then we just keep going until we're done yeah and I uh, oops why am know, I examining it with a lot of those I've just been um, yes. We are now fine. I'm gonna like you know start around like eight or nine, and then just keep going until like two in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like I think the um, let's check this room. I think the raw footage for the second um, session was like something like six hours. And Holy stuff. crap! Oh, and that's yes! why. Yes. Oh, that's nice. I thought that was the case. And that's why the parts are so long. That's why they're like an hour and like twenty minutes long each because I'm trying to just split them up. Um, Evenly, and I mean, and I'm still taking a lot out because there's a lot of like, you know, parts where I'm just like I have to, you know, go to the bathroom or do whatever. Yeah, I mean, when you're doing it for six hours straight, it's almost like a Twitch stream at that point. Yeah, but uh, I really don't have a way to uh, directly connect to Twitch or anything like that. Yeah. No, so. I don't. I don't mean that you. I'm not saying you need to. Oh, you need no, to I, mean, I, I know what you're saying. Playing Mega Man. But I mean, I, I'm just saying that if, if I if I could do that with my setup, I would. Because those people take breaks is is essentially what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I don't watch Twitch very often. I've seen some Twitch archives from like Pro Jared, but that's about it. I will occasionally pull a game up on Twitch if I'm interested in. Um, seeing it if it's like a new game and I just want to watch somebody playing it. Uh, and see what it's like. I'll also very occasionally, uh, I'll, I'll try to watch, uh, do you know Johnny? My friend Johnny? Uh, I don't think I know he him. Streams, he streams himself playing Dota 2 sometimes with friends, and I'll try to, I'll try to have that on in the background when he's doing it, and give him shit. Alright, so we've got, we're full health, or close to full health, anyway. we're in close the fine zone. Health. Yeah. Uh, we've got a green herb, a first aid spray. And a first aid spray. So we're doing pretty fucking good at this point. Compared to where we were a few minutes ago, that's tits on a bowl. Mm -hmm. um, so let's get some shells. And what else we got? Do we want... We want to save the game. Yes, we do. Okay, you're absolutely right. <laughs> let's save the fucking game first. And then put the ink ribbon back. Uh, unless we, unless we really, because I, I, I have a feeling that it, I don't the, the, think I, we need to save again. I'm just saying, I, I have a feeling that like um, he's gonna drop something that we need, and then we won't have any inventory space if we don't use our healing items. I mean, I can, if it necessary, I can quaff the green herb. I mean, it's a single green herb. Fair enough. I'm just wondering which does it behoove us to maybe pop the. Let me top that off. I, I should have used the two to replace it with magnum rounds. That might be a good idea. We'll have full two full clips of magnum so two rounds. Two full clips. We've got a full thing of shotgun shells and six incendiary rounds. And then we have like all of the all of the pistol bolts in the world if it comes to that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Let's kill a human. I mean, a tyrant. <laughs> All right. So we're going to... I'm going to go with the incendiary rounds for this. Okay. Let's go sounds... down the elevator! It sounds like it would be more uh, efficient in my mind, too, because I usually equate undead with being weaker to fire because of RPGs. Yeah, yeah. Or, mm -hmm. or cure spells, you know. That too. That's a, a staple of the RPG genre. I'm, I'm sure. I don't know if there'll be one of those in Earthbound. Probably not. Because um, I understand Earthbound no. is kind of weird. Uh, Earthbound does not have cure hurting zombies. 
but I think they still keep the fire hurts zombies more trope. It's gonna be really interesting to play that because like uh, as you've said, I've played Wesker. so many games that were influenced <laughs> by Earthbound. Barry yeah. is a disappointment. The Barry is not a disappointment. Barry is my friend and he's strong and he's real, just like anime. You were behind all of this. <laughs> well duh. I know you know this, Jill. You've already Why seen this cutscene. I mean shit, who believe it or not. That's who, uh, who was the bad guy, you so know, uh, Barry or the dude who wears sunglasses the entire game? A slave of he could have just been super cool. <laughs> hey, hey. All right, we're going to skip this. We're going to skip, skip this, this too. too. Can we skip that? Okay. You're burning! Okay, so we hit him. He hit me, but he didn't. What is this? Can't carry any more items. That's okay. Mm. Oh fuck! Bitch slapping you. Shitting dick nipples. Let's use it. It's okay. We're fine. And we can pick up that key if need be now. Oh, you missed! You missed me! Is there an easy way to hit the big throbbing fuck me light on his chest? Yes! Maybe it's unneeded. Exactly six shots. Can I? Oh, get that key. Will you take the laboratory key? Might be a good idea. Yeah, it might be. Let's take a look at it. I knew there was going to be something like that. It says Dexter on it. Key to unlock doors during emergency situations. It's opening up uh, Wesker's DVD um What a pathetic collection. way to die. He's holding something. Observation note. Oh, shit. Okay. The discovery of the G virus was, in fact, 21 years after the administration of the primogenitor virus. The A virus, maybe. Those were words. <laughs> the prototype parasite, which we had delivered from a laboratory in France, was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. It's always France. The lack of any <laughs> reaction was an unsolved mystery. Doo -doo -doo -doo. But now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years until it could drink. Then from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. It evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. No, that's not how evolution do, do, works. Do, 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 do. This observation gave me more insight in my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to de derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. This was a breakthrough that would change the future of the B.O.W.'s history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research but unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Burke. Probably a zombie now. A.K.A. Big Willy style. <laughs> oh, we can go down here. Oh, there, we had more space to run. We had like a whole a whole circuit. Oh, oh this was sorry. a dead end. Did you like Chronic Lock? Yes. Oh! I think that was the... Um, I think that was the third... Uh, the third lock. Oh... And we didn't even need a zip disk for that. That's pretty nice. And we just, you know, had to kill the zombie. Oh, we're out of incendiary rounds. This means that any final boss that we fight, we're going to have to face down with the Magnum. Just like our hero, Barry Burton. He'd be so proud. The one sad thing about letting Barry live is um, if you don't give back his gun and Lisa kills him, then you get to keep Barry's... Uh, Barry's Magnum. I, th I think that Barry's Magnum is in, a, it's, is in good hands right now. <laughs> um, Just for the record. Barry. Okay, so I'm so fairly sure Barry's still alive. We are going to put back the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure too. I'm going to put back the grenades. Okay. Uh, not, not those. We're going to put back the grenades because we only have two of them. I'm going to put in the eight ribbons. And save the game. Dear Typewriter Diary, today I killed a thing. <laughs> That's like every single entry. <laughs> yeah. All work and no play makes Jill a dull girl. <laughs> it's just over and over again. All right. Let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. I love the safety music in these games. It's so peaceful and relaxing, as opposed to everything else in these games. Well, at least it's not Silent Hill. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> OK, 
okay, where... where okay, it's that red do door down there. Okay, sorry. Sorry, folks. Just reorienting myself. Oh, yeah, um... Something I did want to say about... HOLY SHIT! Uh, never mind. Wait, that can wait. I didn't think the bee things were still alive. We're waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one got me. Sorry. You were saying it's about Earthbound. Yes, about um, Earthbound. Because I know I used. Um, <laughs> it has a reputation for being weird. Uh huh. Um, and a lot of the Earthbound related things, like Off and 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 Undertale, are usually you know weird as a result. But, um. It's really not, like, as weird. What? Uh, as, like, Off or, or uh, Undertale. Okay. Can be. I mean, it's still pretty odd in places, but, um, it's, you know, it's just, like, a straightforward RPG other than, like, all the other games that try to, you know, make something different of it. What the hell? It didn't, uh... It did not, uh, open. It did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Wesker. I thought there was something missing, like a zip disk. Yeah, what the fuck? They, they fooled us. Okay, I'm not gonna deal with the bees for a bit. Alright, so we're gonna go back down. This is B3, B2, B1. Okay, we need to go back up, I think. Because uh, there's a red door up there. So I think that's where we need to go. So we need to go back up to that door, I believe. We'll find out. Sure. Find out along with us, folks. Probably gonna be more shit jumping out at me now. Yeah. They heard Tyrant was killed, so they all got into their... Doors post, open, boys! Post-Tyrant positions. Run in, run in, and 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 run hey, in. Hey, come back! In. <laughs> I have some really cool tips on how to beat the game. Why would I even bother with the fucking kerosene at this point? Can I just tip that over and throw it at somebody? I don't know. Tip me over and put me out. Man, so well, immersive, these ladders. You still have to go back out. I'm trying to make okay. too much of a joke again, I'm sorry. You use the master key. Master there key. we go. I thought we had a laboratory key. Uh, yeah, I thought it was the laboratory key too, but... And there's Whisker! Oh! Oh, there's there's help on the ground. Well, look at all this. Look at all this helpful stuff. That I can't carry. Because of the... because Do you still, do you still have the laboratory key? I do. Yes, you do. So you still have to use it somewhere. Okay, well, let's just keep that in mind. Oh. We can't. The radio's broken. All right, I'm leaving. What? <laughs> Brad is actually short for Bradrick. Little known Resident Evil fact. Okay, mm. something's gonna jump out here. This is way too... What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I don't even know it's what that is. What more items do you need? Are you kidding me? It's the thing that gives you infinite life. The elevator isn't receiving power. The fuse unit is missing. Oh, like that one right there? Fuck it. I'm eating this. Take the fuse unit? <laughs> Will you take the thing that's two feet away from what you... It's like the graveyard puzzle all over again. <laughs> Hope you didn't use... Hope you didn't need the... Uh... Oh, we didn't... It's, it's literally just to fuck people over who thought this was the last battle. And... And now it's just going to force us to go through and not take any of the stuff behind us. What? No, wait! Wait! I was kidding! <laughs> oh, god damn it! Uh, I, I guess, uh, no turning back now. Um, can't get those potentially helpful full heal things, probably, is what they are. Uh, they say, here, have, have like, 50 million first aid sprays. Wait, 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 wait maybe you can go back. Will you take the signal rockets? Yes! We can signal Brad with these rockets. And then say, wait here, we have to go back and get some first aid kits. 
What? Where do I use these? Wouldn't I use them here? Yeah, probably. Maybe you can use them right away? Or is the game going to say it's not necessary to use that right now? A heliport. Okay. Hang on. Examine. Flare rockets. I can signal Brad with these. Yes. So signal. Make, use. Make with the signal. Oh, okay. It okay. I just used them. Okay. Doodle -doo. Oh, they have built-in buttons and everything. Hooray! All right. Let's hope we don't need to be healed in what I'm fairly sure is the final battle here. This this seems very final. Although that door is still not open. <laughs> I'm confused. Is that a Chris thing, or or what was the point of that? Maybe it's just like it has some like extra shit, like like it'll give you the third zip disc after you beat oh the God, game. Oh God, the rest is isometric. Okay. And then you go in there, and it's like the infinite rocket launcher or some shit. Oh, Alpha Team's finest. Every woman for herself. Bro, oh, I, I guess we're just leaving. Was that the end? <laughs> did we? Did we? Without Barry. I guess Barry is dead. Every every woman for herself. I guess I got the trophy for not not saving anybody. I mean, I never found Chris. I'm assuming he was what was behind that door. Uh, that was probably led to Chris. Um, Barry died apparently, and we accidentally killed Richard. Uh, sorry, Richard. Um, I guess maybe we don't get a, a final boss because we don't get the good ending. I suppose. I'm I'm willing to just. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, what's this? Maybe that's Barry turned into a zombie. We. No, that's got to be Wesker. We corrupted the timeline. President. Oh, it's an ending. Either that was the end. I'm. Uh, should we go for a good ending or should we just cut our losses and say we're done? Fuck it, we're done. <laughs> okay. So, sorry if, uh... You had a kind face, Barry. Sorry if we didn't get the best ending we in got this, the but... We bad um, ending. But uh, that's just how our journey ended. And sometimes, in real life, you can't go back and undo your mistakes, and then you're watched through the credits, and it's obviously the ones from the PS2 version, or the GameCube version, not the redone... Ones. Sometimes you murder all your friends. But as we all know, this is dead. Dead. This isn't the timeline that truly happens because if it was, then we wouldn't have been able to play Resident Evil Revelations two. I thought they should be playing Barry. like the Ducktales music over this, not the sad ass music. D -d -d Danger looks behind <laughs> you. There's a zombie out to find you. Man, we killed Barry and we didn't even get his fucking gun. That's a shame. I don't know. I, I guess this, we more or less took a risk that he'd be able to stay I didn't, alive. And... I had an awful feeling when that happened he, that he had to actually die. Yeah, but... I, I didn't think that was supposed to be a thing because he apparently she knocked him off the the thing while we were pushing. That that sucks. It does. In memoriam, <laughs> Barry, Barry Burton. Burton. Aww. Jill Valentine will return in Thunderbolt. This feels like I'm watching some shitty, like, Saturday afternoon movie. But it's not. It's Resident Evil. And it was a good dun, game. Dun, Regardless... Dun, oh, what? That was... That was different? That was Barry shooting Wesker? Yeah, that, uh, that's... I that's what, to see all this. That's what's supposed to happen. Oh, good job, kid. That was Rebecca, I think. MacGyver. Presented by but Capcom. Regardless of our ending, this was still a good game. So, oh, yeah, um, I love it. Jill, you did a fine job. Oh, okay, Thanks. we got a trophy. Wesker? And another trophy. All right. Not in the mood. What does that even mean? And that's for beating, that's for difficulty level. I oh, think. We got okay. The, we beat the first two difficulty levels. Maybe our difficulty level affected the ending, too. Seven hours, 54 minutes. 74 creatures dead, 35 engravings, 36 health items, 247 buttons. Jill has a new costume. Closet key! A new costume has been unlocked. See, it's the fucking mansion! It's a fucking mansion! That fucking cock tease of a... You fuck! <laughs> you fucking fucker! All right. No, I'm, I'm unreasonably mad about that because <laughs> we thought that we had to get back there at one point, but... All right, so we got save clear data now. That was Resident Evil, guys. 
if you would like to experience the good ending for Resident Evil, in which uh, our hero Barry Burton does not die, uh, may I recommend playing it yourself? Because, you know what? It's a good game. And now we have a brand new um, freaky looking... Title screen. Title screen. And they're remaking Resident Evil 2, like, finally, aren't they? They've been hinting at it pretty heavily. So so they'll be out soon, maybe. Hopefully we'll have that to play soon enough. So uh, until next time, uh, I've been Soylent Greg. And I've been Rado Goji. And we'll be back with Earthbound. Join us, won't you? <laughs> <laughs>